Okay, so let's embed our first chat room on our website. It's a very simple process that should only take us a few minutes. There's three basic steps. First, we'll sign up for a Chat Tango account, and that's at chatango.com. Second, we'll create our first chat room. And third, we'll embed it on our website. That's it. So let's go to Chat Tango and set up an account or login. Now, if you're new to this, we'll want to go to sign up. Signing up is very easy. You enter your email address, you choose a screen name and a password, then you're through. I already have that, so I'll just log in. I log in. Oh, let me try that again. This should work. Make sure you remember your password. Now, if you're coming back as a returning user or a new user, your the page you come to should look very much like this. What we want to do now, we want to go to the very top where it says add a group chat to your web page. You can see me scrolling over that right now. We'll click on that. And this is where we create our chat room. It's very basic very easy. We'll need to give our group a name. So I'm going to go TTG for Teacher Tech Group. Um, TTG Chat123. Now you'll find a lot of the group names have been used already, so you'll need to find a unique name. This might take you a few minutes, but let's. but I hope this one works. I'll type in example chat, and then once we have this, the group name, the group URL, and the owner's message, we can move to the bottom and modify how the actual chat room will look on our website. Now you can change the layout, change the colors, and as you change them, you'll see it changing over here. So let's say I want to make it small. I'll click on small here and you'll see it become smaller. Oh, I want it to be medium, large, but medium's okay with me. All of these settings are all right with me because I'm just making this an example. But if you have a color scheme that you're trying to keep uniform on your website, you can change these things. Once we have that all set, we'll just go down to continue. Okay. Let's scroll up, and you see step two, put this group on your web pages. We need to copy this code and embed it into our web page. So I'm going to Command C on that. Now I'm going to go back to my website, and I'll add a new page. I'll call it chat example and I'll make sure I'm in text and not visual. Let's go to text. Now I can paste it in. I control V. It's pasted. I'll publish it. Oh, that's fine. Publish it. Now let's take a look and see how it is. Let's go up to view page and see how that looks. Scroll down, whoa, and there's my chat room. If I want to add a message, I can just type in here, hey, and go to send. Now I can set a name if I want to sign in and put my name with it, but I also don't have to. So let's go to send, and I'll say, do you want to sign in, log in, or post anonymously? I'm going to go to post anonymously and they'll just come up anon 6667 hey if you are going to be using this for a classroom you'll probably want your students to sign in have a name so that's a very easy process just have them do that beforehand then you can know who you're speaking to alright